Hi beauties and curls and welcome back for another video. It is Melissa and I don't have all my earrings. Earrings. Hi beauties and curls, welcome back for another video and in today's video we are talking about September favorites. As you can tell from the title and from this lip that is officially fall. Yes. So uh, let's get into our favorites. I am going to talk about the favorites and fails of my beauty boxes, my Ipsy Glam Bag, my Boxy Charm. After I get through my favorites of what I've been using besides those boxes and we have a giveaway y'all know I used to do the ipsy giveaways earlier in the year and back in the day that is coming back and you guys one lucky winner will be able to get an ipsy glam bag without further ado let's get into this video let's start of course with hair and I know I have my hair wrap on right now y'all know I love to deep condition under this but I have a new way of deep conditioning a wash day is coming Yes, you'll probably see this before my official wash day, but my Aquas hair turban is life, is life, is life. I'm going to get another one. Y'all, I do have a detailed video about what this material is made out of, why it's so good, why it reduces frizz, why it cuts my drying time in half. I love this, so I had to mention it. Not only have I been using it last month, but the month before that, it's good, y'all it's good the next thing i have been loving is the hair surreal nappy nappalicious kink drink by sultanicals i love this it is glycerin free if you hadn't seen my glycerin free mist this is one of them i'll link that video in the icards are down below so make sure you check out the description box but luckily you can find this in a target so i love this uh, or at least i've seen that this is on target online okay so there's a couple of places that sell tentacles i believe is sold so i absolutely love this it's a great mist it has an awesome mister on here I'm not gonna waste it but it smells so good it smells herbal but fruity like fruity herbal it smells so good love that okay those are my hair items let's move on to skincare so i have this amazing box that lord i am so excited Drunk Elephant sent this to me and I've already loved a lot of their products, but I was blown away by this. This is their holiday set. I talked about it in an unboxing, a YouTube live. I also talked about it on a IG stories. I love this box. It is the detective game. It is the Drunk Elephant Inspector Drunk uh, Night Kit. I love that this is a full nighttime routine in a box basically and you get a full size of the infamous this is the TLC Frabus glycolic I do have a picture on Instagram if you guys are interested these two are mine but I wanted to that's separate from this but I am going to mention this as well but I have also the Behydra Intensive Hydration Serum. I have the Jelly Cleanser. This is a really good jelly cleanser. It, may, it removes makeup, everything, everything, and cleanses your skin. I use this twice just to make sure I get everything, though. There's the La La Retro Whipped Cream. This is good. And there's an eye cream, which is called <laughs> the Sea Tangle Multivitamin Eye Cream. So this is a full nighttime system, y'all. And it came with this. It, this is so informative it makes me want to do a review let me know if you guys want this but a full full review talking about all the things but they have these very interesting cards in here talking about the six culprits of why you may not be having the perfect skin i really like that i love inform information and when things are very very informative I do have these that I use during the day, one during the night, their marula oil. I also have the C Firma eye cream. This is um, vitamin C during the day and the marula oil. You can put these during the day and then you can actually put this in conjunction with the Frabus at night. But I love this. Make sure, I'm probably going to talk about this anyway and do a full review on some Drunk Elephant products. But if you want a review on this, it is currently available. It's retail $98, but the value is $144. This is amazing. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if I said that you get a full size of this. I think I did, but just letting y'all know. 
But this is a great way to try out products and also get the infamous, this is good, this is good. This is a product worth the money for sure. And I love the fact that these, I hadn't tried before any of these, I love this, but this is just a good box. Anyway, if you're gonna spend your money, spend it on skincare. That's just my opinions. Spend it on skincare before makeup because if your face is bare, you can be good if you go out and it's protected and it's good and you take care of it. Okay, thought I said enough about that. Another thing I have been loving, this is the Kula Sunless Tan Anti-Aging Face Serum. Now, I have one that's like this. It's the Maracuja Bronzing Serum from Tarte. Love that. But that one, they Tarte told me, a representative from Tarte told me that they are discontinuing that. And I was like freaking out because it's so good. This is so good. This actually has vitamin C in it. It has hyaluronic acid. It has argon oil. I really love this. Plus, it's keeping the tan. Like, it's basically maintaining my tan. Women of color, we like the tan. Okay, we still like the tan. At least, I like to maintain. If you don't want to change up your foundation and go to a lighter shade and the, keep the one that you're using maybe during the summer this may be a great way to maintain it during the fall and winter if you want to keep that color in but I love this not only for the ingredients and everything but definitely because it maintains my skin tone and gives me a little warmth in the face you know what I mean highly recommend this I know that this looks like I have not used it but I went through my travel set first but Love, love, love this. I highly recommend it. Kula that I have been loving is the Kula Organic BB Plus Cream. This is so good. That's what I have on my face today with a little bit of another favorite, which is the Makeup Forever Pro Finish. This is an exact dupe, exact to the Studio Pro uh, Fix, Studio Fix. Yeah, the Studio Fix powder. This is in the shade 163. And I am C6 in Studio Fix powder or NC44. And this is how it looks. This is the powder that I have on. I put, I powdered my face just to like give myself a little bit of coverage. I can use this by itself and I have before. But I do tend to like where I'm using some type of moisturizer or something just even tinted. If you want to go in with a little bit more of this, you can build it up to medium, even full coverage. But I don't like cake face. But y'all do, do you? I'm just saying. But I really do like this. I really do enjoy it. It was on the chopping block, but it is staying in my collection. I'm going to use it up. Okay, a foundation that I have been loving, the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I thought that this was a curse to dry skin, but actually this is really good. You can thin it out with oil if you want to. My shade is 3W2 Cashew. I really do enjoy this, and I think I got this in the winter months. A little light for me in summer, but uh, you know, with bronzing, I was all good, but I really do enjoy this. This is a staple. I feel like if you are oily, if you're dry, with whatever shade, they have a a plethora of shades I know they have like over 30 and I think they recently added some more shades but Estee Lauder double wear is a staple I feel like you can't go wrong with this and it won't dry you out but it will stay all day it's lock, locked and loaded okay so love that Tardius contour palette now they don't have this one online I did see the contour three so if you're a woman of color deeper than my skin tone you're gonna absolutely love that that's why I wanted to mention it mention it that's volume either three or four this is I think it's volume three this is the one that's makeup by Shayla. This one is discontinued because it was a collaboration with her. But this palette is so, so bomb. I've had to mention it because I know a lot of women of color. I have a couple of friends here on YouTube that actually got the contour, the one that's deeper than this, and love it. And... So I had to mention this because this is like a one-stop shop. This is what I leave in my car. So that's why I wanted to, I don't, this is makeup, but this is also a lifestyle favorite because it has my blush, my highlighter, my under eye powder, which is phenomenal. It looks like I'm about to hit pan on that. I have two bronzers, one shimmery, one matte, and then I even have a contour. I use these eyes, eyeshadows. This is such a good palette. I'm using the highlight today. It is amazing. I'm just saying. 
in terms of brows let me talk about this let me talk about this because spiked used to be my brow jam okay but the benefit precisely my brow my lord you doing something over there benefit okay this is so good i'm in the shade number six this is i thought a gimmicky product it came as a set that i got from sephora this is not gimmicky. This is the Brow Vogue Conditioning Primer. This is so, so good. My lips are so dry. Lord, I'm going to be taking this off real soon. And it's going to be a fail. Yeah, it's coming off. Oh, yes, it's coming off soon. <laughs> my Lord, my lips feel like cement in the middle. Mm -mm, coming off. Anyway, this is the Brow Vo Conditioning Primer. This is so good. I wanted to show y'all this look using some of my products from my beauty boxes. Did not happen. I do have a more dramatic look, but I wanted to show y'all this look today. But unfortunately, I couldn't because the camera kept cutting off. Joseph wanted to go to sleep. Elijah just got back and we're going to dinner. Too much going on, but I had to get this favorites out. But anyway. This is so good, precisely my brow. It has that precise and you can just go in. I did not even clean up. That is so good. I didn't even have to clean up with concealer because when it's precise like that, you can just go in and it's so quick and it's so good. So I'll be getting this. That's why Andrea loves this. Mm. Y'all know I don't usually talk about makeup brushes, so that means it must be really good. The first brush is this powder brush from the Andrea Renee and Peach and Pearl collaboration. This is a doggone good brush. I'm just saying. It is a full, it's for, I feel, just feel like I can use this for my face. I mean, I've talked about this brush before, which is kind of like the contour one. This one is really good with bronzer, but this powder brush, I have been loving. If you have not gotten that collaboration, as a matter of fact, it was like 60% off at some point. Y'all, that, that set is a good one, okay? I highly recommend you guys try and get out. I've just been going. I feel like I need to get another set. And you know, it must be really good if you're trying to get two and three sets of the same set, you know what I'm saying? But those are good. I mean, better than Morphe good. I'm sorry. But I mean, everybody's raving about Mar Morphe. But this peach and pearl right here, right here, this right here. And look how it looks. Rose gold with a white ferrule. Y'all, this looks bougie. This actually look reminds me of the La Mer brushes. And uh, yeah, anyway, just want to tell you about that one. This is an inexpensive brush as well. This is the white uh, this is the Wet n Wild P72. This is a blush brush. Y'all, I have been loving this because it fits perfectly on to the face and it has kind of like a flat. So what you do is you pat in the blush and then you blend. It's It almost feels like it's dual fiber, dual, dual fiber, but y'all, it is so good and it feels so good. Like this feels like quality hair. I cannot believe Wet n Wild did this. I know it came, I think this was around the summer collection. If you can find this brush, get it because this feels like high quality, seriously. And I love this brush. I know this is, this one is limited to edition, but I know sometimes Wet n Wild takes things and then they throw back with a comeback. You know what I mean? So been loving that. I'm going to talk about a concealer. This was in my Ipsy Glam bag last month in that full size ipsy glam bag not the one that i just did but the one uh, not for september but for august okay and this is the smashbox studio skin 24 hour waterproof concealer i love this but not for my under eye i love this as an eye primer it is so good i used it today it dries down it's the perfect pigment to cover any veins or anything this is a little bit too dark for my under eye and it's a little bit too drying but it's perfect for my eyelids because my eyelids are the oiliest ever i do have dry under eye but my oily my lids are oily this is so perfect it's great for spot concealing too but this is so so good and i'll be using this as an eye primer but i just had to mention it this is the maybelline dream bb fresh so good, so good, so good. It has a lot of coverage. You can actually build this up. It says sheer, a sheer tint. I feel like you can build this to almost medium. Like if you like skin, like almost medium, 
this is so good and it's from the drugstore i highly recommend it i i can't believe that like i had makeup under my nail just now but love this okay two mascaras and then we are moving into the beauty boxes two mascaras the this is the Giorgio armani this is the eccentrico mascara and this is the douce punk volumizer mascara this is so good this gives me those big spidery type and y'all can tell from the brush okay it's a huge oh it's a huge brush okay the brush is one of the biggest that I've seen but this is a really good mascara my eyelashes really catches on it's super black and I love it Eccentrical. now let me tell you something there's different there's a difference with this one Eccentrical actually when it says it's basically it means accent okay it accentuates the lashes it makes them really separated and they don't look clumpy i'm actually wearing it today and i really really love this mascara i wanted to hate it because i as it's expensive because it's giorgio armani okay but i wanted to hate this but this is one of the mascaras that you just like girl and i i have not found a drugstore mascara that does this that's why i'm talking about it okay so this one above even above the douce i've i do have mascaras from the drugstore that can do this like the mega plush by maybelline or even the uh super fiber the fiber the you know the fiber one from covergirl that one's a good one but this one separates my eyelashes and it also like grabs them on but separates them and it gives them a different look i feel like mascara you want mascaras that give you a different look i don't want the same look in terms of mascaras but this one gives me a different look so i love it so beauty boxes let's go ahead and talk about the fail because it's about to come off my lips and it is it's the Lorac box where's the Lorac? sorry this burgundy it is, it, it's transfer proof it's smooth up here but in the inside I feel like it's gonna peel like I feel like I need to peel my lips I want to take this off yeah I need to take this off when your lips feel like maybe an octopus the suction from one of those tentacles has sucked the life out of your lips get the Hanalei You can use Jouer, the sleeping mask, agave lip treatment. You want something deep penetrating, okay? This is from my Ipsy Glam Bag. I got this with some points. This is the Mauve Pink Lip Treatment from Hanalei. So good. Let's just speak, let's just speak on it, okay? Then the, let's see. This is the Nomad. This is the Light Infusion Powder and you can use this as an eye shadow but i loved it as a oh, it's duo chrome too duo finish uh i use this as a blush the dirty little secrets bronzer this was nice too i thought elijah was behind me uh this was nice too like I used it as a bronzer, like a shimmering bronzer. This looks, this this is nice. This is the Belly Bella Pierre Matte Lipstick in Incognito LS017. So, kind of like, mm, kind of don't want to take this off my lips, but we're gonna put this lipstick on. But I'm putting it on. I like this because I don't need a liner for it. I love lipsticks like that sometimes. Very nice, natural, very pretty. This lipstick feels so comfortable. It's really good. So, really enjoyed this. And was there any? Oh, that I. Well, no, no, no. There was a hair product. That was a fail. I even decluttered it from this because I didn't even want to talk about it anymore. It was, I found out one of my viewers was telling me you could get it from the 99 cent store. I was like, that's where I saw it. So 
I, yeah, unfortunately, I did not like the hair treatment because it had, like, it was leave-in conditioner, like, the two-in-one. It was from It Hair Care or something like that. And if you want to look at that video, it's the Ipsy Glam Bag that is for September. Didn't like it. It's a fail. It contains isopropyl alcohol, and I'm not putting it in my hair. I'm not going to even review it. Try it because of the ingredients. And in the boxy charm, let's talk about these brushes from Alemar Cosmetics. These are phenomenal. I've used this several times. These are definitely ones that I will use on a daily basis. And can we just say a nice color? This is a nice brush. And I love the fact that she did not put it a typical color because if you're trying to find this through a whole bunch of other brushes, you are not trying to look for them. I can say, oh, it has that green ferrule with the copper rose gold and just keep it pushing. So I really do like these brushes. It's a plus. It is one of my favorites and I'm definitely going to be using those. I love the softness. They, I feel like that she picked the perfect three um, if she wanted to use a pencil brush, but I actually use this. I feel like more than a pencil brush. And I think people that are starters would probably use something like this just for under the tight line or really cleaning up the brows. I use them. So yeah, this roller eyeliner. Now, let me talk about this because I kind of wanted to do that with every product that I had, but unfortunately I totally forgot. So I will do it next week, but um, next month, I mean, I'll do it next month. But this is the Butter London. This is the Stroke of Wow Roll On Precision Eyeliner. I like this, but I know how to put on eyeliner, like quick eyeliner. I like it. And if you, I'm supposed to be putting up a, a tutorial because you guys love the dramatic one so much. But in that one, you'll see that I had to clean it up a little bit. But this is not for a beginner. This might be for an uh, intermediate and above like expert pro uh, I do makeup for weddings and everything this is good but this could really damage your eye if you don't know what you're doing if you don't know what you're doing in terms of eyeliner this is not something you want to start off with I'm not sure why boxycharm would put this first in a boxycharm but I don't know hey guys so I am losing daylight and my camera shut off again I actually had to go to the door and cut off the camera but anyway like I said this is not skill level for a beginner I would say for intermediate to pro this would be okay but it's not something that I would go to and it's okay but you would have to take your time you have to take your time with liner anyway it's a great formula though um, I will continue to use this but to be honest with you it's not something that I feel like if you are starting off with eyeliner I would not get this this is gonna not only make you nervous of putting it on but make you nervous of thinking that you might get it in your eye so I don't recommend this for a beginner but maybe for intermediate or if you are used to putting on something and you want to go for formula because the applicator on here is very different. Anyway, that's all I have to say about that. The star of the show of the BoxyCharm was the Nightingale palette by Pretty Vulgar. This is so good. It's so smooth. Um, I have on the eyeshadows today. I feel like you can make a whole lot of really cool tone shades. I feel like now this is I'm just being honest with this, y'all. My Naked 2, this is better than the Naked 2. I know they're just continuing those palettes, but this Pretty Vulgar did it right. They did it right. They're pigmented. They're smooth. I did get a little bit of fallout, but not a lot. Um, this is a palette that's easy. You can use your fingers. You can use blush. It is for a beginner. The skill level is really, really good for this in terms of you could from a beginner to an expert i feel like you can get a smoky look you can get an everyday cool tone look you can actually get a warm tone look as well um using flip out and swoop i do i would say that some of the shades are a bit similar although this one is this is bronze this is a light bronze this is a chocolate Flip Out is a chocolate, but Swoop is like a deeper chocolate. I feel like that you can get a brown smoky, a bronze. You can get a dark gray smoke. You can get an everyday. I really like this palette a lot. I can see myself using this. And I feel like if you like a smoky eye or you want an everyday, this is like, I feel like a beginner friendly palette. So I, I liked it a lot. Guys, 
totally forgot about this. Oh my god. So I'm coming after filming. This is the Tropic Hues Baked Blush and Brighten by Laura Geller. I love this. It's on my cheek. I forgot. Sorry. I love it. So that is it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's going to let you know that I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And yeah, until the next video, I will see you soon. Love you guys. Bye. Bye, guys.